Hi guys, welcome to fifth grade, chapter five, lesson three. We're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, so before we do though, when you pause, write this down, you'll see at the top of my paper, I just write down the initials. It's just to remind me what my steps are in division, okay? So pause, rewind, do whatever you gotta do, go back and make that happen, okay? Now these ones, I want to use compatible numbers to estimate a quotient. By compatible, it means if this number is three, three doesn't go into 19, but three does go into 18, okay? So that's what they're meaning. You change one of the numbers to go in um, a little smoother, okay? So this one, okay, we wrote down over here. So they went with 45. I would have gone with 40, okay? Any reasonable number will be accepted, okay? So if they went with 45, well, nine goes into 45, five times and the nine goes into zero, zero times, okay? 10 would go into 40, four times, and then I would add that zero one, okay? So you can do either one of those for number two, okay? Number three, okay, they went with keeping the 15 and changing 308 to 300, okay? Now, 15 goes into 30 twice, and then I would just add that zero one, okay? Now, I would have gone to 300, but I would have changed that to a 10 because 10 goes into 30 three times and then add that zero one, okay? Both of those are reasonable, okay? So you can do either one, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and number four actually has a decimal on it. So I wanna do that one with you guys, okay? So you could go to 60 since the divisor is five, or you could go to 65 since the divisor is five, okay? So if we went to 60, well, five goes into 60 12 times and then add that 0 0.0 on, okay? So five would go into 65 13 times, add that zero one, okay? Now, because it's decimal, you don't have to add the zero one, that's why I crossed it out, not a big deal, okay? But so you can have either of those, okay? They're both reasonable for the question, okay? So you could have either one of those, okay? Just be, just be reasonable, okay? So you guys are gonna finish through 12, okay? We are gonna go down to number 13, okay? And it says, Taylor uses 645.6 gallons of water in seven days. Suppose he uses the same amount of water each day, about how much water does Taylor use each day? Okay, so 645.6 divided by seven would be our original problem, okay? Now, I would probably go from there, I would probably make that 630 because I know that seven goes into 63, okay? So seven goes into 63 nine times and then I would add that zero on, 90 gallons, okay? About 90 gallons, okay? Show your work so that they know how you got there, but that's a reasonable answer, okay? Okay, on a road trip, Sandy drives 368.7 miles. Her car uses a total of 18 gallons of gas, okay? Well, I would put probably 400 miles and 20 gallons of gas, okay? So 20 goes into 40 twice, and then I would add that zero on, okay? 20 gallons, okay? That is, I didn't put about 20 gallons, okay? But that's a reasonable estimate, okay? All right, so we're gonna go on to the back. You guys are gonna do the lesson check just like always, and we're gonna do this follow review as soon as I can get the page turned. Okay, viral review. So an object that weighs one pound on Earth weighs 1.19 pounds on Neptune. Suppose a dog weighs nine pounds on Earth. How much would the same dog weigh on Neptune? So one pound weighs 1.9 pounds, and so nine pounds, so 1.19 times nine, will get us how many pounds a dog would weigh on Neptune, okay? 
Nine times nine is 81, carry the eight. Nine times one is nine plus eight is 17, carry the one. Nine times one is nine plus one, 10. Go in one, two places, one, two places, 10.7, one pounds. There we go, okay. A bookstore orders 200 books. The books are packaged in boxes that hold 24 books each. All the boxes the bookstore received are full except one. How many boxes does the bookstore receive? So, I'm gonna come over here, okay? So, 200 in boxes of 24 books, okay? So let's see. Now, I know that in each 100, there are 20, there are four sets of 25, okay? So, since 24 is not gonna go into two or to, to 20, I'm gonna go, there's four quarters or four 25s in 200, okay? Or sorry, in each 100, and there's two of those. So that's eight, okay? So I'm gonna go eight, eight times four is 32, carry that three, eight times two is 16, 17, 18, 19, that's 192, subtract and get eight. So now the bookstore got those eight boxes, but they also got another box that had eight in it. So nine boxes total, okay? Those other boxes didn't float there by themselves. So nine boxes total. Write down your work, guys, okay? Tara has $2,000 in her savings account. David has one-tenth as much as Tara in his savings account. How much does David have in a savings account? Well, here's the thing. Okay, 2,000, and he has one tenth. Okay, all that means 10 has one zero. We're going to take off one zero. He has $200 in his savings account. Okay, all right. So we love these, they're pretty easy. So we're going to, they both start with sevens. I'm going to cross those off. They both have a six next. I'm going to cross that off. This one has a three and that one has a two. That one's bigger, guys. Okay. Thanks for hanging out for 5.3. Come back for 5.4 soon. See you soon.